Welcome everyone to another Cota Conversation. Information from the Council on the Aging, Victoria's leading organisation promoting opportunity and protecting the rights of older Australians. Cota Conversations. Hello everyone, I'm Peter Thomas and I'm pleased to welcome today Ben Rogers, Manager Policy and Advocacy at Cota Victoria. Ben, welcome. I understand that today you're going to share with us uh, some of those issues that COTA is concerned about, and these were issues that the um, that the Victorian government has actually promised that they might attend to for older people. Public transport. Let's have a look at that. Yes. So in the recent state election, the uh, the Victorian government, uh, the Labor Party, promised I made mean, a number of promises around improving rail transport, particularly mm. in rural and regional areas, which we definitely support at COTA Victoria and aligns with our calls around improving community transport. So we're really keen to see this be implemented as soon as possible. Yes, well, so many people, of course, completely rely on public transport, don't they, to get around? Absolutely, especially as you get older, it is absolutely imperative for you to retain your social connections that we have a functioning and good public transport system. Hmm. So what does COTA do? I mean, I know you advocate on behalf of older people. Do you go to government with submissions? Oh, absolutely. We engage government through submissions. We engage government through meetings. It, there's a whole range of strategies to support our policy and advocacy. And it's imperative that we keep those connections and those relationships so we can make sure that, that older people are at the forefront of their thinking. Last year, Ben, I got a $250 power saving bonus. And I understand that we're going to get another one this year. Yes, it's anticipated to be released in March 2023, which we are really excited to see come back. However, we're really keen this year that they improve their distribution and advertising of the $250 power saving bonus. We have had heard that some older people struggle to access it, mainly because a lot of it was done online. And there is definitely a digital exclusion element, especially for some older people. Ben, look, that's a whole big subject, isn't it? Uh, so oh, yeah. many people are excluded because they have to uh, go online and they're not quite sure how to go about that. Um, maybe we'll tackle that on another program. Yes, yeah, so you've, again, you've advocated with government about this? Uh, yep, we are connected through a couple of representative groups that we are members member of and mm-hmm. we engage their to help improve that program as best as possible, but we're glad to see it return. Ben, the Royal Commission into Aged Care has highlighted a number of issues concerning that sector. What are what are COTA's hopes for action from the Victorian government? We're really keen to see them push uh, the experience of, of older people in Victorians and to make sure that we are a part of that. Victoria is very distinct in, in terms of how it operates aged care in Australia. We have a lot more public residential aged care facilities. Uh, we were pleased to see the, Victor- the Victorian government in the recent election promised to upgrade some facilities, mm-hmm. but we're really keen to make sure that the views of people are not forgotten over the value of infrastructure. Yeah. Well, finally, Ben, I'm sure Coda has something to say about uh, health issues, uh, particularly support for general practitioners and, well, hospital upgrades are important too, aren't they? Oh, yes. And at the recent election, there was a lot of promises for hospital upgrades, which is great. We really do support that. But older people use the health system more than any other age demographic. And it's really important that their experiences are valued, listened to and utilised to improve the service, especially with the current pressures, which I'm sure everyone has heard about. It's vital that older people are thought of and listen to so we can ensure they have the best care possible. Ben, many thanks for sharing Cota's advocacy with us today, but we've just scratched the surface. So let's continue our discussion in a couple of uh, weeks' time. Sounds good, Peter. A big thanks to Ben Rogers, Manager, Policy and Advocacy, Cota Victoria. Cota Conversations, a production of GDR 95.7, Golden Days Radio.